I'm Katrina Shearer and this, this is Wonderball. And welcome to the show where excellent general knowledge and a wee bit of luck along the way could be winning one of today's teams a very tidy £2,000 jackpot. In this pot are 15 numbered balls, five for each team. None of our teams won the jackpot last time, so they're all back for a second try. Hello again, everybody. Hi. Hello. Stuart and Alice, you're going to be playing with the pink balls again today. Gillian and Grant, you've got the blue balls. And Jeremy and T-Kid, you have the purple ones. So good luck, everybody. In a moment, we'll start picking balls from the pot at random. But unlike bingo, and unlike a lottery, our contestants do not want theirs to be picked because it's the last ball left at the end of the show, the Wonder Ball, that's worth £2,000. How can our teams give themselves the best chance of ending up with that Wonder Ball? Well, by answering questions correctly to knock out their opponent's balls and keep their own balls in play. Stuart and Alice, we're going to start with you. Just remind us again how you know each other. Uh, so, Stu's my big brother. From Aberdeen, so I'm the one that escaped to Edinburgh. <laughs> Excellent. And Stuart, you're an actuary. Remind right, us yeah, what yeah, that so is. A lot of mathematical modelling, dealing with risk, that sort of thing, a bit of statistics. And Alice, you're a personal trainer. Yeah, so um, I run a boot camp business with my other brother, Tom, in Aberdeen. That's right. That's the other brother that you didn't invite onto yeah, the show, isn't it? Is he still <laughs> a wee bit left out, do you think? I'm in his bad books, I yeah. am. But we couldn't <laughs> compete with Stu's brains, so... You were the only ones who cashed in. You took £300 last time. Yeah. Are you going to change your tactics today? Um, I just have to make sure I don't overrule Stu <laughs> because he is always right but I'm always a little more confident so stick with like Stu's that. answer. I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay well Stuart and Alice before you take your first pick I'm going to spice things up a bit by adding the first of three danger balls. Now remember these are bad news because if one of these ends up being the last ball left then nobody wins that jackpot. So you want to find those and get rid of them as quickly as possible. Stuart and Alice, please pick a ball and a word of advice, try not to pick your own one out first. OK, here we go. It's purple 13. It's one of Jeremy and T kids. Oh, no. So if Stuart and Alice get this question correct, Jeremy and T kids ball leaves the game. OK. Which British duo had a 1980s UK hit single with West End Girls? Oh, the, not my type of music. West End Girls, 1980s. Yeah, hopeless with that. Musical duo. Um, it, uh, but what's duos? Bonnie and Clyde? Are they? Uh, they no, they were like uh, outlaws. Uh, <laughs> oh, were <laughs> they? Okay. Uh, do you know any others? Any duos? Uh, Hunt and Deck did a song, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't West End. I feel like that would have been the 90s as well. Yeah, from, uh, oh. I'm, yeah, I'm lost. Nothing. I've got nothing. Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde. It's not Bonnie and Clyde, I'm afraid. It was the Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys. You didn't answer that one correctly, but well done for Jeremy and T-Kid because it means that that ball goes back into live play. It lives to see another round. Yes. So, a sigh of relief from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Gillian and Grant, just remind us how you guys know each other again. We play in a band together every weekend. Travelling up and down the country, playing gigs. Gillian sings and I play saxophone. Oh, fantastic. And keyboard. And keyboard, yes, Gillian. Did you bring the sax with you today, Grant? Unfortunately, I didn't, cos Gillian doesn't let me take it anywhere <laughs> apart from the gigs. She's in charge. Cos everybody doesn't want to hear Baker Street all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only one he knows? Well, that's his favourite. <laughs> you came so close last time. It came down to the two balls, the danger ball and your last ball. And Grant, you chose your own. Gutted. Yes. To let me Jillian. down badly. I let her down let badly, down. yes, but it's the first time. Do you think she's ever going to forgive you for that? No, she will never let not. that lie. She brings, back, she brings up things from about 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's plenty of material in this one for yeah, her then, isn't there? <laughs> OK, so who's going to choose then this time? That'll be me. Oh, it's pink five. It's one of Stuart and Alice's balls. It could be kicked out of the game, Stuart and Alice. If Gillian and Grant answer this question correctly, if they don't, it will go back into live play. So, can you tell me, the popular skiing resort of Avi Moor is located in which national park? Gillian, you're going to have to trust me with this. <laughs> I think I know what it is. What? I'm going to go for the Cairn Gardens. It is indeed. Cairn Gardens National Park. Well done, well done. Well done. you much of a skier, Grant? It, no, no, oh. I'm not a sportsman, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> so bad luck, Stuart and Alice. Your number five ball leaves the game. That is not going to be winning the jackpot. 
And it's hello again to Jeremy and T. Kid, our students and rap duo. Remind us what you're studying. Well, I study architecture. I study sound production. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, architecture, you'll be hoping to build up a fortune today then, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. The rap career, how's that going? Oh, it's very well right now. Mm -hmm. So, we've just been doing a few gigs this past year. We've dropped music videos and, yeah, soon Scotland will be on the map. Scottish hip-hop, we like to call it. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We'll need to come and see you. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good luck today. Didn't fare so well yesterday, no, but let's no. see if we can get a good result for you today. It's your pick. Ooh. It's oh. Blue 8. It's Gillian and Grant's ball. If you answer this question correctly, that one's going to leave the game. In October 2018, it was announced that which broadcaster would succeed Chris Evans as host of the Radio 2 Breakfast Show? Do you know this one? No, um, The only person I'm thinking of is, like... I think his name's, like, Zan Lowe or something. Zan Lowe? We go for it. Zan Lowe? No, it was Zoe Ball. Zoe Ball. Ah. Yeah, you're thinking of Zayn Lowe there, Zane Lowe. yeah. Zane Lowe. Yeah, that's what it was. He used to be on Radio 1, oh. but it was Radio 2. We were looking for who succeeded Chris Evans. It was Zoe Ball. Zoe so Ball. Ah. Gillian Grant are delighted because yeah. their number eight ball <laughs> returns to play. And plays again with Stuart and Alice. It's your turn to pick. Danger ball in there as well. Let's see if we can get that one out early on. Oh, it's oh. blue 10. It's Gillian and Grant's ball. Again, the blue comes out. So if Stuart and Alice answer this question correctly, that ball goes. Who was author of the medieval work known as the Canterbury Tales? I'm pretty sure I know this. Um, I don't know how, it's just one of the... OK. Yeah, um, is it Chaucer? It is indeed. Yeah, oh, well Geoffrey done. Chaucer. Good well job. done. Unfortunately, though, Gillian and Grant, number 10's kicked out. Blue 10 will not be the wonder ball today. So you've just lost the ball there, Gillian and Grant. We don't want to see another one go so soon. It's your turn to pick. Let's see a danger ball. Get a danger, come on. It's oh. one of your own. You've chosen blue six. But you can save it. But you do have to answer a harder question in order to do so. In 2018, Margot Robbie received a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her portrayal of which American ice skater? You didn't, you've not got a clue. No, I've not got a clue, so you're going to have to dig something up from your mind. Uh, eh? Have you seen the film? No, but I wanted to. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Tonya? Don't know. Uh, Stevenson. Oh. Stevenson. Stevenson, he's wrong. It was Tonya Harding. <sighs> so, unfortunately, Gillian and Grant, you've lost another ball. So gutted. It's the second ball in this round to go for you guys. That's not worth £2,000 to you today. And it's back to Jeremy and Teakid. We've got five in there. Good situation to be in. True. Come on. Let's we see still it. don't want to see a purple, though. It's blue nine. It's another one of Gillian and Grant's. They've just oh. lost two in a row. <laughs> Is it about to become three? <laughs> OK, Jeremy and Teakid, can you tell me which reddish metal has the chemical symbol CU? Reddish metal. I'm, reddish, my heart is saying copper, but I don't know. I'll give it a try. Copper. I don't know any other metal that Can would I be just red. try copper? I'm sure it must be copper. Copper? Copper. It is it copper, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, for Gillian and Grant, they lose another ball. Gillian and Grant, that's three in a row. So that's not going to be the wonder ball today either. Journalist, ball. four balls in there. Let's see it. Oh, it's oh. one of Gillian and Grant's. The blues just keep coming. You guys will be singing the blues if you lose another one. I tell you, <laughs> down on your luck this round. Stuart and Alice, if you answer this correctly, it goes. The triathlon consists of swimming, running, and which other sport? I did one this year, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it with you, then. Cycling. It is cycling. How did you get on with it? Oh, it was tough, but it was really good, yeah. Really enjoyed oh, it. Oh, <laughs> congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. You lose that ball, Gillian and Grant. You're fourth in a row. Unlucky. <laughs> right, five balls have gone. They've left the game and they will not win you £2,000. But I am going to give you the chance to make some money on the balls you have left by selling me one for £100 in guaranteed cash. Here it is. If you do sell, though, that ball will stay in the pot, but it won't be yours anymore. If at any stage it gets picked, it immediately leaves the game, which means you made a good decision to sell. 
But if it's the last one in the pot, it would have been the Wonder Ball, and that would have been a big mistake if you'd sold. So dilemmas and decisions, guys. So what are you going to do? Stuart and Alice, here it is. Thank Take you. Take it in your hands, Lovely. £100. We're still in quite a strong position. Um, you are. You've got four balls in the pot. We might lose one next round, but I think we should hold off for we'll now. Give it back. You're going to hold off? Yeah. You're not going to sell? OK, that's fine, Stuart and Alice, no problem. I can't tempt you this time. Not Maybe this time. Next. Maybe, Maybe next, next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> Gillian and Grant, absolutely shocking first round for you guys. You've lost four balls already, so what are you going to do? Does this all of a sudden look very tempting to you with one ball left in the pot? Mm. Actually, it does, Grant. Now, we're not looking too good right now. Right, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. The way I'm looking at it is, <laughs> I think we should go up, we should go up another yard. Yard? Yes, OK. Right. Are, are you happy? Uh, well, not really, what, no, because... No, that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah I mean, right, I'll okay. go with the decision, right, right. yes. I, I'm, this time, I'm the decision, Katrina, and we're I doing it. I see that, Grant. This is a new and improved, very definite <laughs> Grant now. <laughs> He's wearing the trousers now. OK, <laughs> so you're not going to sell. You're going to keep number no, eight thank you. in the pot. Yes, please. OK, no problem. Jeremy and T-Kid, I've still got this £100. I haven't managed to give it away yet. Mm, like... Now, what would you do with £100? quid? <sighs> Well, there's a suit that I'd like to buy oh. for an event coming up. OK. Do you want to describe it to us? It's like a black um, suit with white stripes and flower em embroidery on them. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Do you think £100 would cover it? The whole set, I'm sure it's like 80 90 Fantastic. Yeah. So there you go. You'd have change from yeah. that. With this money, I'd probably go for a cheeky Nando's, you know? Uh, uh, <laughs> and maybe treat my mum or something to get her nails done or something. Oh, <laughs> no, that is so yeah, sweet. Yeah, definitely. you got five balls in play. You've got £100 in your hand. Are you going to sell one of those and keep the money? Hmm. I think we should keep going. We're yeah. quite strong right now. We're safe, we're safe. Um, yeah, we'll yeah see. I think we'll, we'll give this a pass for now. OK, you're not going to sell. I'll yeah. take it back then. Yeah. Absolutely nobody wanted to sell, so I'm going to add another danger ball. This goes into the pot. There are now two danger balls in here, guys, so we really need to find these and get rid of them. Play starts again with you, Gillian and Grant. There's two danger balls in there now. Just put the second one in. Let's get it out. Danger, danger. It's purple 11. It's one of Jeremy and T kids. So let's see if Gillian and Grant can answer this question correctly. Which singer who had a 2011 hit single with Born This Way appeared in the 2018 film A Star Is Born? We're happy that it's Lady Gaga. I'd like to think you would have got that one right, given that you're very musical <laughs> and you're in a band, you pair. It is indeed Lady Gaga. Well done. However, unfortunately for Jeremy and T-Kid, it means that ball leaves the game. You could have sold this to me minutes ago for £100. Number 11 goes on here. That is not going to be winning the jackpot today. OK, guys, you've just lost one. We don't want to see purple coming out here. Two danger balls in there. Let's see red. Here's a red one. Good luck. Oh. It's one of your... Oh, no! It's number 14. Oh, yes. Now, you can save it, though, but you do have to answer a harder question. Which political economist wrote the 1776 book The Wealth of Nations? Political economist, 17... Ah, oh, man. Any guess? Anyone uh, jumped back in the old-time days that was the, political? The back in the diddly, political... Uh, Anything. I don't know why Winston Churchill came to a head, but that was... Wait, that's, no, that's was me. Yeah. yeah, that's me. No, no. Just think of a random name back in the day. William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> it's not William Wallace. <laughs> it's Adam Smith. I'm so I'm sorry, sorry <laughs> guys. It was a more difficult question. Unfortunately, you couldn't answer it, so you lose another ball. <sighs> Man said William Wallace. <laughs> That's not worth £2,000 to you today. It's not the Wonder Ball. Yeah. So play goes back to Stuart and Alice. You've still got four balls in there. There are two danger balls in there as well, of course. Let's see them out. Danger oh, ball. Yeah, Come on. Danger ball. I want to see red come out there, Stuart. Let's do it. Yeah, it is a danger ball. Good job. Fantastic. Now we need to get rid of it by getting a question right. Bad news is it's a harder question, but the good news is since you all want to see it out of the game, you can all confer on the answer. But Stuart, you picked it, so you decide which answer to go with, OK? Best of luck, everybody. Can you tell me which song is the opening track on Michael Jackson's 1982 album, Thriller? 
Maybe the, little, the way you make me was, feel is the only thing I can think of. Or bad. Was that album kind of like, was it to do with like... The one where he's like... Because there's one like, uh, there's a song called Ghost of Jealousy, but I don't know. Is it actually on that album? Do you know I'm not sure, that's the only thing. I just thought because Ghost and Thriller... And it's definitely kind of a Michael Jackson thing. song. Yeah, that's definitely a Michael <laughs> Jackson song. Have we, Ghost of Jealousy. It's not. I'm afraid Ooh. it was Wanna Be Starting Something. Oh, oh, I I never would have got it. Guys, I'm so sorry. The first time the Danger Balls come out as well, but it goes back into the pot. And play begins again with Gillian and Grant. <laughs> Don't Wanna See Blue come out. No. Two Danger Balls. Let's see if we can get another crack at that again. Come on, guys, we need to get rid of those. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> You've picked the blue ball. Can't believe it. You can save it, remember. You have to answer a harder question. What is the name of the oil extracted from a variety of orange that's used to flavour Earl Grey tea? I've got an idea, but what? it's probably wrong. What? Tannin oil. What? Don't know. I think it's wrong, but I'm going to go for it, because it's the only thing I can think of. Tannin. It's not tannin, I'm afraid. It's bergamot oil. Oh, I'm so sorry, oh. Gillian and Grant. You chose your own ball. You couldn't oh. answer the question to save it. You're out of the game. Your last ball leaves the game. Oh, Gillian and Grant, number eight leaves the game. That is your fifth <laughs> and final ball. You've been great contestants. We've really enjoyed having you on the show. It's been great fun. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Thank you so yeah, much for playing. Just, Play is with Jeremy and T Kid. <laughs> You've lost two in this round, so we don't want purple. Two danger balls in there. Let's find those and get them out. Go on, T. What's it to be, T? Ooh. Oh, it's pink three. It's one of Stuart and Alice's balls. So if you answer this correctly, Stuart and Alice lose one of their four balls. In which ocean are the Galapagos Islands located? <laughs> I know exactly what islands these are as well, but I don't know the ocean. You know the islands? Yeah. Would it be Pacific? No. I don't know. Is that too popular? <laughs> I don't know. You know, just because I, I think, I don't know. So you want to try Pacific? Uh OK. <laughs> All right, Pacific Ocean. It is the Pacific Ocean. You answered it correctly. Stuart and Alice, your number three is out. And it's not going to be the Wonder Ball today, unfortunately. Back to Stuart and Alice. Please pick a ball. Not one of your own. It's Purple 15. It's one of Jeremy and T kids. You're going to repay the favour yeah. here, aren't you? Right back <laughs> at you. <laughs> OK, Stuart and Alice. Which Queen of Egypt was famously the lover of Julius Caesar and reputedly married Mark Antony? Right, there's only one there's only Queen one of, of Egypt, <laughs> I know. Uh, Cleopatra. It is indeed oh. Cleopatra, yeah. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Jeremy and T kids, you lose a ball. <laughs> Purple 15 leaves the game. That's not going to be winning the jackpot today. No. OK, so another five balls have left the game. Stuart and Alice, you've got three left in the pot. Gillian and Grant, they're out. They've got none left in there. Jeremy and T-Kid, you guys have two left in the pot. It's time for me to tempt you again. This time, though, I'm going to offer you £200 for one of your remaining balls. I'm going to double my last offer. £200. Here it is. £200, that is two suits. You could have matching suits. Yes. That is going to go down a treat. It'd be perfect. <laughs> it would be perfect, wouldn't it? It's up to you, bro. I'm here for you. What? Well, you're the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sell or you want to keep? Like, seriously. We keep going. No sell. Oh, no sell. No sell. No sell. OK, that's absolutely fine. No problem. I will need the cash back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeremy and T-Kids. <laughs> so, Stuart and Alice, same again. I'm going to double that offer from last time. £200. Thank you. What do you think? Uh, oh, it is tough. Yeah. I think we could take the chance, sell the ball and still be in with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, number one? Yeah, let's do it. We'll sell number one. We'll You're going to sell number one, number one yeah. for £200? OK, mm. excellent. Stuart and Alice, you keep that £200. Ooh. Number one remains in the pot, but it doesn't belong to you anymore, remember. OK. I gave with one hand, Stuart and Alice sold for £200. I'm now going to kind of take with the other because the third and final danger ball goes into the pot. 
There are now three of them in the pot. So we do need to find them. We need them out of here. Please, with you, Jeremy and T-Kid. <laughs> Guys, we don't want to see purple. I hope your bravery's paid off. It's pink, it's number one. It's Stuart Analysis, it's the one that you've just sold Ooh. for 200 pounds. What a great decision that did turn out to be, guys. <laughs> Big smiles over there. So, number one, pink leaves the game. It wasn't going to be worth the two grand, but you did make 200 pounds for it. Well played. Thank you. Good Happy going. <laughs> two live balls each in the pot now. Three danger balls. Danger ball, come on. Danger we ball. want to see red. We want to see red, Stuart. Red. Everybody wants the red out. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It yeah. is a danger ball. OK, we need to get rid of this, guys. We need to get this question right. The bad news is it's a harder question, but the good news is, since you all want to see it out of the game, the four of you can confer on the answer, OK? But, Stuart and Alice, you picked it, so you decide which answer to go with. If a cube has sides one metre long, what is its volume in cubic centimetres? Volume is length times breadth times height. Yeah. OK. So it's a one metre cubed, but I think it's a million centimetres cubed would be my... I should know. What are you thinking? A million centimetres cubed. Final answer? That's my final answer, yeah. One million centimetres cubed. People are going to rip me for that. <laughs> no, they're not, cos it's right! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> well done, Stuart. It was a million cubic centimetres. So the great news is... It's gone. Oh the danger ball goes. Woo. Our actuary and our architecture student yeah. worked it out. Well done, guys. That was a great example of teamwork and you've kicked out a danger ball. Well done. Play is back with Jeremy and T-Kid. Let's see red. Come on, we want to see those danger balls out. You can do it, you just did it. Let's do it again. Oh. <laughs> it's purple 13, it's one of your own. Yeah. Not the best pick. You can save it, remember, by answering a harder question. Yeah. Which letter of the alphabet is used to represent 50 in Roman numerals? 50? 50. 50. 50 looks like in Roman numerals. Roman numerals, no. Um, if I was to guess, I know 5 is a V, Yeah. 10 is an X. It must have a V in it. Um, I'd say let's go V. 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 OK, let's go V. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay. What's it to be? V. v. It's not, I'm afraid, it's L. L. Oh, never have known. V is five, you said yeah. that earlier. Oh. You did say it, you knew that, didn't yeah. you? It it's was a L. tough question. Yeah. It had to be, though, because it was to save your own ball, and True. they are harder. Uh, yeah. Guys, I'm so sorry. Purple 13 leaves the game, so that's not going to be the wonder ball today either. OK, so just five balls left. From here on in, there are no more questions. You've done all you can and stacked the odds in your favour, but now it's you against the game. You'll just pick from the pot one by one until just the wonder ball is left, hopefully winning one of you £2,000. Stuart and Alice, you've got two left in the pot. Jeremy and T-Kid, you've got one left in the pot. Don't panic, though, guys, because even though there are two danger balls left, you have one final chance to cash in, and this time it's for £300. Stuart and Alice, £300. It looks so good. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you. Now, a that is a lot of money, Thanks. particularly when you add it to the 200 that you've already made in this game. Could definitely get a holiday out of that. Um... And my thought is there's as much chance of one of our balls winning as it is a danger ball. A danger ball. So, I've... I, yeah, I'm leaning towards le leave it because we've got quite a good position. Yeah. yeah, I think play we should on. maybe play on to see, see how it goes. It. Yeah, risk it. Let's say no. No, sorry. We won't Thank you. It. No problem. Thank you. I'll take that back. Thank you very much, Stuart and Alice. Thank Good you. luck. Cheers. Thank you. Jeremy and T Kid, £300 this time. What do you think? It's your last ball in the pot. So, what do you think? If you sell it just now, it's £300, guaranteed. If you keep it in there, potentially worth £2,000, but not guaranteed. There's two danger balls sitting in there. There are two danger balls in there, that's so... right. Uh, what are you thinking? What about? are you thinking? I, I would sell. I would sell. Sell? TK, are you in agreement with this? What, what are you thinking? Yeah, what do you want? 
Sell it. <laughs> yeah, we'll sell. sell. We'll try. We'll sell. Jeremy and TK, you're going to sell your last remaining ball, Purple 12, for £300. That's yours to keep and to take away today. So tell me, what are you going to spend it on then, guys? Oh, that's suit. That's, <laughs> it. that's it. Thank you so much for playing today, Jeremy and TK. It's been Thank great you. meeting you, you both. Thank and you. I wish you every success with your future career as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, so this is the moment of truth. Remember, there are no more questions. Which will be today's wonder ball? Stuart and Alice, you have two balls in there. Jeremy and T-Kid, you have one, but you sold it, so that now doesn't belong to you. And we're all hoping that that is not <laughs> the Wonder Ball today. And of course, there are two Danger Balls in there. We couldn't get rid of them earlier. They're still in there. Good luck, guys. Stuart and Alice, it's your turn. Please pick a ball. Oh, danger Ball. Go. Oh, let's see a Danger Ball. Oh, oh, it's no. pink too. It's one of your own. I'm afraid that leaves the game. That's not going to be the wonder ball today. It goes back now to Jeremy and T-Kid. You will be wanting to see 12 come out. We all want to see that purple coming out here. Fingers crossed. Purple 12. Oh, it's pink number four. It's Stuart and Alice's last ball in the game. Could have sold it as well. Oh, you had a chance it. a few minutes ago to make three hundred pounds on that one. Oh, oh well. And it's not going to be the Wonder Ball today. <laughs> this is an awful scenario for Jeremy and T Kids. Yeah. We now know that nobody is winning the jackpot today. There are two Danger Balls in there, and Jeremy and T Kids sold ball. We all want to see that come out. We don't want that to have been the Wonder Ball. Otherwise, it would have earned you two grand today. All right, let's do this. Oh, T-Kid. What? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a red danger ball. <gasps> T-Kid. That's not good news. Shocked. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> it's getting, getting warm in warm. here. It's, it's so tense in here it right is. now. It's now down to a 50-50 chance. We still want to see that purple coming out because you've sold it. Come on, we want to see purple. <laughs> Please, guys. <laughs> oh, no. no! Jeremy, you've pulled out the last danger <laughs> ball. <laughs> the danger ball leaves the game. Please show us what that last ball is. Show us what today's wonder ball is. Purple 12. <laughs> oh. Jeremy and T-Kid, you did have the Wonder Ball. You did sell it, though, for £300. Yeah, pounds. Three, it doesn't belong to you and would have been worth £2,000. This is material you could rap all day about this, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true, yeah, true. Jeremy and T-Kid leave with £300. Gillian and Grant are leaving with nothing today. And Stuart and Alice, you're leaving with £200 today. It's been great to meet you all. Thank you all so much. You all played a really good game. You were all high rollers. So three new teams will be joining us next time. Thank you for watching Wonderball. See you again.